Hey everyone, this is DJ. If you purchased the new Fire TV Stick 4K Max, you already know that it comes with 8 gigs of storage, which in reality it's a little over 3 if you take away all the system apps and files that are installed right out of the box. And then if you install a few apps of your own, you're already down to 2 or even less, which is really not that much. But since the 4K Max runs Fire OS 7, which is Android 9 Pie, it now supports expanding the internal storage by using an external drive. In today's video, I will show you what you will need to expand the 4K Max internal storage and explain what the difference of external versus internal shared storage is and how to utilize both. So let's get right to it. In order to add external storage to your 4K Max, you will need the following items. First, you need an OTG cable, like the one you see over here. I already have one connected to the 4K Max. All it is, it's a little wide cable like this. On one end, you connect the power cable coming from the outlet. The other end connects to the 4K Max. And in the middle, you have a USB port. That's it. Nothing too much to it. I will leave a link in the description below for this OTG cable, but that's more for a reference. Any OTG cable will work. The most important part here will be the USB drive that you use. Now, even though the 4K Max has a 2.0 port, it's recommended to use USB drives that are 3.0 or 3.1. They tend to perform better and faster than a 2.0 drive, and they're more reliable. Especially if you're going to use this as internal shared storage, you want that drive to be reliable and also to be a name brand thumb drive like a SanDisk or a Samsung. You don't want to just pick one up that it's like $5 for a 64 gig. It's not going to perform that well and it's probably not going to last you as long as one of the name brand ones. Also, I personally prefer to use a USB hub as you see here. Now this is optional. The reason I prefer to use a hub connected to the OTG cable because I can connect one drive over here as a internal storage. Then I can use a second port here for a second drive as external storage. It also gives me a third port here where I can connect a wireless keyboard. And also it does have um, on, on the side here an ethernet port for connecting the 4K Max with an ethernet cable so you can have a steady connection if you wanted instead of the wi-fi now before you connect the usb drive to the otg cable even if you use a, a hub leave that to the side connect the otg cable to the 4k max let it power on and once it boots up to the home screen then connect a usb drive to it this is just the first time all right now if this is formatted as a FAT32 file system, when you connect it to the, 4K, to the USB hub or the OTG cable, the 4K Max will recognize it and give you a little notification, which I'll show you in a minute. If it's not, like this one is not, when you plug it in, switch over, you get this message where it says, unable to read USB device. It doesn't recognize the file system and it gives you three options. Do nothing. If I select do nothing, pretty much it ejects the USB drive and that's it. If you select device storage, this will format it as internal storage. And once you format it as a device storage, you can only use it on the 4K Max. You cannot eject it and use it on another device or connect it to a computer. You need to format it again. And if you select it as external storage, it will format it to the FAT32 file system. And you can use it to move files from, let's say if you have music or pictures or movie files on your computer and you want to play them on the 4K Max, then you can take that, connect it to your computer, put the files on there, bring it back, connect to the 4K Max, and use a third-party app like uh, Kodi or a file manager or anything like that. To access the files. All right. 
Now, if we click on do nothing here, switch over, disconnect this. Now, if you have a USB drive that's already FAT32 file system, and you connect it to the 4K Max, you will get this little notification on the bottom, where it says limited device access. So pretty much this is formatted as external storage. The 4K Max recognized it, mounted it. If we go in the settings, and all the way down to My Fire TV, you will see in here, there's a USB drive option now. Shows you the amount of space that's there. It gives you two options here, eject the USB drive, or format as internal storage. If I had files on here, so let's go back and use a file manager here. All right, if we select, as you can see here, SanDisk is the one that's connected here. I have a file already in here, so if I click that over here, you can play that file. And you can see it already plays. So let's get out of here. So you do have access to that drive. So let's go back out. So now I'm going to inject this drive. And it's recommended to do that. As you can see, it gives you a little notification on the bottom that it's safely to remove it. If you're gonna be moving drives from one device to another, it would recommend to use the eject the USB drive option instead of just unplugging them. Now, I'm gonna plug this one in, format it as device storage. I'm gonna skip through this part for you guys. You don't need to wait a few minutes. It takes about four or five minutes to do this. And it also depends on the size of the drive. It may take longer for you. So I'll be right back. All right, so the formatting completed. So we'll click OK here. Now if we go back out, go back in. Now you will see again, USB drive here, so just like that. Now we got three options in here. You can eject the USB drive, format it to an external storage, and then you can manage and install the applications. I'll switch full screen here. Now, if we click on manage install the applications and show USB only, there's nothing on there since we just formatted it. If you click on here and select all applications, now you could do that through here, or you can go back into the settings, for example, go up to manage, <clears throat> go up to applications over here. It will be the same thing. So we're going to select manage installed. Now, not all apps are meant to move to external storage. Just keep that in mind. Especially all the Amazon preloaded apps, those you cannot move to the drive. Some other ones that you even download from the Amazon App Store, like Analytics. If you click on here, you don't have the option to move to external storage, the USB, the USB drive. Some of them, though, if you install them after you added the external drive, they will move automatically to the external drive. They wouldn't be installed there. But only the application files will be insta installed to the external drive, not the data files. Another thing to keep in mind. If we go down here, let's say to Plex, you will see I got the option to move to USB storage. So if you click on there, you're going to give it a minute or so. Now that moved, if we go back out, you will see this little icon next to it that shows you that it's moved to the USB storage. So if you go back in, you can always move it back to internal storage. Now some other apps that are already installed here, or even if you install them after, you cannot move them. Like YouTube, for example, does not give you that option. But there is a little trick to do that. Now we go back to our home screen here. We're going to be using Explorer File Manager. So if we launch that, on the left side, 
we're going to scroll all the way down to app manager select installed and scroll down all to all the way down to youtube now if you press and hold the ok button for a second or two you get this little pop-up select copy to clipboard and then we're just going to go back up select internal share storage go down to download now this folder i created it myself you can create a folder as you can see on the right side there's new folder you don't have to that's uh, optional now if i press and hold again on the ok button for a second or two and scroll down to paste now you will see in here you got youtube apk so let's go back to the home page scroll down to the applications here all applications youtube is over here if i select this and select uninstall there we go that's it we go back to explore scroll down select youtube again click on it select install click on done back to the home page go to applications manage and go all the way to all the way to the bottom where youtube is as you can see now it has a little icon next to it that's installed on the usb drive and it gives you the option to move it back to internal storage so that's the little trick you can do with certain apps if you want to move them to the usb drive now do, do keep in mind though that not every app is meant to be moved to external storage they will not perform the same so if you install let's say you move the uh, youtube or netflix or anything like that and you're starting to notice that it doesn't perform the same as it did before just move it back to internal storage and that's about it how you move certain apps all right for the last part here we're going to talk about how to utilize internal and external storage at the same time so we switch over here this is where a usb hub comes in handy and why i prefer to use one I already have this drive set up as internal shared storage, moved a few apps, and now I want to use another drive, like let's say this one, which I have, let's say, some home movies in here, and I want to access them. If you only use an OTG cable with a single USB port here, you will have to remove this one, and if any of the apps that you want to access are on this drive, you won't be able to do that but with our usb hub i just connect this right here we're going to get a little notification there we go that it says it recognize the drive and mounting it and if we go to our home page and use explore you will see in here i have access to that drive i can use the file you can play whatever you want and still have this drive connected and now let's say on this drive i got movies or music or pictures i can connect that one too it's going to get recognized now in a second there we go and also in here as you can see if i scroll down this is the, th the third drive we just connected so i can scroll down play a file from here no issues and now I got access to two additional external drives while still utilizing the internal shared storage this is one of the advantages of using a USB hub connected to the OTG cable instead of just an OTG cable now the only problem here which is really not a problem it gets a little tricky if we go to our settings scroll down to my fire TV if we go under usb drive it's showing me that if i click on eject usb drive 
that it's going to eject one of these two. But that's not the case here. So if I click on eject USB drive, it's trying to remove this one because you can see how I got two apps already installed there that got moved. So you don't want to do that. This is going to be one of those times, even if, like I said before, try to use the eject USB drive option instead of just unplugging them. Here, you don't have a choice. If you want to use two or three at the same time, you will literally have to just pull it off. And that's it. Now, if we go back out, and go back in, it's still showing me now that it will remove this drive, but still, it's gonna be the main drive that we have here. But also, don't you don't wanna click on format internal storage. You don't wanna think that if you click on format to internal storage, it will do this drive. It will format the main drive that you already have here, formatted as internal share storage. So if you click on format, it will erase this one. So any apps that you have moved to this drive, they will get erased. And this time, if we unplug it, we're gonna get another message, unexpected removal. And like I said, there's no choice here. All right, that should do it for that. So what do you guys think? Do you find it useful using a USB hub instead of just an OTG cable with one thumb drive connected to it? Or having the ability to connect one for internal storage and then another one for external or even two. What do you guys think? I would love to know. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. All right, if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below and I will try to answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. It does let YouTube know you like what I do here and it does help my channel grow. Also click on subscribe and the little bell icon to get notified of any new videos I upload. Thank you for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.